Okay, we're going to go through a couple more examples and it would be worthwhile after you've had a look at the question, pausing the video and having a go yourself. Okay, so first question. The equation can also be written showing the structural formula of the reactants and the products. And we've got our table there. Calculate, using the table, calculate the energy change for this reaction. So free marker, these are typically free marker questions. Now, the thing to spot that's different with, with this video compared to the last one is we've got two times all of these things here. Okay? And the same with our product. So we have to tally up these bonds, but then obviously remember to multiply them. All right, so if you want to pause the video to have a go yourself, now would be a good time to do so. Right, let's go through. Bonds broken. So bonds broken. We've got two lots of the hydrogen carbon bond. So I've got one, two, three, four times by two, so I'm going to have eight of those. So I'm going to do eight times four, three, five, which equals three, four, eight, zero. I've only got one oxygen double bond. So nine, seven. So if I add these together, the energy for bond broken will be three nine seven seven. Okay. Now if I do bonds made over here, we've got one, two, three times two. So we've got six times the carbon hydrogen bond. So two six one zero. We've got one times two, so two times the carbon oxygen bond. And then we've got two, because there's two of those, two times the oxygen hydrogen bond. Oopsie. Six, seven, two, I should have on that previous one. Two times. Four six four, which equals nine two eight. If I add these all up together, I should get four two one zero kilojoules per mole per mole. So I need to work out the delta H. So that's going to be three nine seven seven minus four two one zero, and that gives me minus two hundred and thirty three kilojoules per mole. Now they quite often they will ask you this bottom question, in terms of energy, why is this an exothermic reaction? It's a really, really popular question. So why do you think that might be? And they want you to refer to the bond making, bond breaking process. So the energy released forming new bonds is greater than the energy needed to break the existing Bond. Voila. Right, just going to give you another question to look at. Question two. The equation for the reaction can be represented as shown. Use the bond association energy to calculate the enthalpy change delta H for this reaction. So it's the same kind of process as previous. So if you have a look, so I've just written out my method a bit bigger here. I'll let you read that. 
we've made and we should get a minus 93 for our delta H. Now they asked previously a very similar question. Now there's a nice useful clue on this. The reaction is exothermic. Explain why in terms of bonds broken and bonds formed. So with this clue exothermic you might want to look up here and check that you had a negative delta H. That's give you a really helpful clue to see if you've taken away the right numbers from each other. But even if you've got a positive number there, you could, you'd still be able to answer this question. So it's going to be basically the same answer we had for the last one. The energy release from forming new bonds is greater than the energy needed to break the bonds. And this time they gave you two marks for that, rather than one mark for the previous one. Right, that is three examples of bond making and bond breaking questions for over the two videos. So hopefully you feel a bit better now. Right, good luck with the revision.